<laughs> Come on. There you go. I think that old picnic table got to be cleaned up. Is oh. it wet? No. No. Look at there. Huh? Oh, yeah, I went and jumped down on her. Oh. Whoever's up there on the thing. That's, Here. That's Krabby down below. Here. She came early tonight. Now why is he running? I don't know. He'll come back. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I got him. What you doing, girl? Hi, baby. Huh? Do you not want a hot dog? <laughs> Couple hot dogs. Here we go. <laughs> You're crabby. Come see it. You okay? Not steady on my feet. There. All right, here. Hang on to me. Yeah. Oh. All right, what would you prefer? You want a cookie? There. I knew it. I got a pocket full of pins that I give out to people when I, if they stop me and say, are you the raccoon whisperer, I give them a pin. Is that their prize? That's their prize. <laughs> <laughs> and a magnet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and, a, and a postcard. Ah. Yeah. Do they still make Cracker Jacks? Yeah. Do they still have prizes in them? Yeah. Really? You get them at Sobeys. Really? Yeah, down back there, uh, you know where the milk is? Yeah. They're, they're down there. They still have prizes in them? Yeah, a little plastic thing. They're not worth nothing. Oh. I don't know if you did this, but when I was little, I used to get the cereal on the cereal aisle that had the best prize down in the bottom of it. Yeah. Did you do that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My mother uh, ate Cracker Jacks every day, and uh, and she gave me the prizes. Oh, really? Oh, she ate box after box. Yeah. I didn't like the cereal that had the prize on the back cardboard. That wasn't fun. No. They had a game or something. Yeah. I oh. had, uh, I saved up box tops from, I forget what cereal, and I got a nice uh, jet fighter. Really? Yeah. I sent the five box tops in, and uh, it came in the mail. Now, up here, did y'all have S&H green stamps? No. So... My mom, when I was little, went to a place called Piggly Wiggly. And I think Piggly Wiggly is still around some in the south. I'm not sure if they're still up north or not. But every time you would make a purchase, your cashier would give you these stamps. Yeah. And, and you collected these stamps and you would put them in a book. Did you ever watch Brady Bunch when you were little? Yeah. Okay. So they they did a thing a, a show about the stamps too, and they were having a competition on what they were going to buy with the stamps because they had like hundreds of books, and they were going to go to the store and buy. And they ended up, I think, I'm not sure whether they bought that sewing machine or not. Maybe somebody that's watching can tell me what did they end up buying with all those stamps. But anyway, it's all right, guys. It's okay. It's okay. Gee, they hear you talking. It's okay, babies. Yeah. It's all right. That dog's not going to come over here. Anyway, 
S and H, you would get, you would put all these stamps in a book. You want that or you want a hot dog? You want stuff. And you could go buy stuff with these books of stamps. So it was like a perk for going to this grocery store. It's before they used to, they came out with those little things that they swap with the uh, yeah. code on there now. You know, Sophie's doesn't even have that, do no. they? They have no. the same card, but I mean, yeah. Hmm. Anyway. Yeah, we used to have S and H cream stamps. I remember, was... remember years ago. Uh, I was only a kid, and uh, the Roseland Theater were offering an afternoon movie cartoons, and you had to have six pop tops off of Nesbitt's Orange, which is no longer around anymore. Mm -hmm. And so, Mom had a, a six pack of Nesbitt's Orange. And I took all the tops off them and I went to the movies. And uh, when they got home, the pop was still sitting there, but there was no tops on them. They all went flat. <laughs> so that she wasn't too happy. I bet you caught, yeah, she you caught said, it from her. She said, where's the tops at? I said, I went to the show. <laughs> yeah. Did you drink those orange drinks? No, she, well, they did. They had to. It's okay. It's a dog. No, Krabby was down there having a fit. It's okay, baby. There you go. So what is the first movie that you remember seeing when you were little? The Mummy. The old man? With Boris Karloff. <gasps> my, my twin sisters took me to see it at the uh, Jubilee Theater, which is now a water park. <laughs> really? In fact, that's where I used to live, was in the old theater. I oh had an apartment goodness. there. And uh, that was the they first... They took you to see a movie at that age? Like I, was, that? I was about five. <gasps> it didn't scare you? Darn right it did. Oh, did it? <laughs> yes. Oh. Yeah, I don't know how they got me in there, but they did. Wow. They were going by themselves, and I followed them. Really? Yeah. Now, which sister was it that used to go and take everybody's baby and take it for a stroll? That was Simone. Now, what did she do? She used to go up to the post office. She was in like five or six, and she'd steal the baby carriages with the babies in them. But the police knew where to go to find them. The women would come and she would the, take the baby home. Yeah, the carriage. What would your mama say? Oh, she got a beating for it. Oh me. But she kept doing it. She loved babies. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> so Simone, we're talking about you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was a baby stealer. Oh my goodness, that's funny. Yeah. It's yeah. really funny. But the cops all knew uh, that she, she would did take that. those babies. Yeah, and the people would come up. Well, they used to leave their strollers there and go in the post office and get the mail and leave and the kid there, right there. You don't do that today, but. You yeah. could do that back then. Well, I mean, who would let that a child was, of five years walk down the street by themselves? That was in the early 50s. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, and uh, the women would come out and the kid be gone, they'd be screeching and hollering and calling the cops, and the cops said, don't worry, lady, we know where your baby is. Simone's, they, Simone's been in town. <laughs> so they would pick the woman up at the post office and drive her down, drive her down to the house. Yeah. And she'd be all hysterical. And what would your mama say? Well, mom said that the, she could see a carriage coming down the old dirt road. You're scared. And there was little feet behind it. <laughs> they couldn't see Simone because she was too small. Eh? That's funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's hysterical. Yeah, she did that all the time. This little fella here. So you all only had one TV channel when you were little. Yeah, CBC. So what was your favorite show to watch on Saturday morning? Uh, 
the TV didn't come on till uh, four o'clock. In the afternoon? No, there was nothing on TV all day. Didn't come on till four o'clock. It had a test pattern on all day. Really? And it had a little. Uh, it had an Indian at the top with the headdress on. Okay. Yeah. There you go. And that's all it showed. Everything was black and white back then. Yeah. Yeah. So you didn't have Captain Kangaroo? No. That was the States. Wow. So you didn't get the opportunity of watching uh, Looney Tunes? Oh, and... yeah. You did? On Saturday, yeah. But if after 4 o'clock? Yeah. It came on after 4 p.m.? Yeah. And they had Supercar and uh, Thunder... What is it? Thundercats. No, it was... Uh... Did you get to watch... Uh, Josie and the Pussycats? No. Or the Archies? It, no. It was... Um, H.R. Puffin stuff? Oh, yeah. We had that. Land of the Lost? No. It's okay. No, we had... Uh, what the hell was that? Thunder... Thunder something? It was a spaceship. X, Thunder something XL5. Oh, really? And then there was Supercar, and there was all puppets. Mm. And we had Razzle Dazzle with Alan Hamill. Alan Hamill was married to Suzanne Summers. Still is, actually. Yeah. From the Three's Company. Did you watch American Bandstand? Yeah. Yeah, we had I that. I did, too. We had that. Wow. We had a local one here, too, at Halifax. Did you watch Gilligan's Island? Yeah. Yeah, that was on here. I'm trying to think of what else. Did y'all watch The Wonderful World of Disney and Gunsmoke and all that? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Um, we had Bonanza. I wasn't allowed to watch Bonanza. It was on too late Sunday night. I got, yeah. I got, I got to watch Ed Sullivan, though. I see. I never. Uh, Ed Sullivan must have been gone by the time I was old enough to watch well, because of that. Well, he had the Beatles on. Well, yeah. I saw the was, Beatles. That was past. I saw yeah. the very first episode uh, when he had the Beatles on and the place was going nuts. The girls were screeching in the chairs and falling down the aisles. And My daughter did that to the Backstreet Boys when she saw them in concert for the first time. Yeah. She was 12 and I took her to Knoxville, Tennessee and we had front row seats. I know where Knoxville is. Do you do? Oh yeah, from your airplane thing. Yeah. yeah. It's beautiful up there in Knoxville. The Smoky Mountains. Yeah. Tri Cities. It's it, the South is a be beautiful place to me. It is. I guess because I grew up there. Oh my. <laughs> oh me. <laughs> oh, I got one fellow here grabbing up my paint in my hand here. So this wonderful man cooked again tonight. He's just he's just feeling so much better. He decided to start cooking again. And I had a wonderful homemade meal again tonight. It was good. Yeah, steak yeah. and, and yeah. Uh, sautéed mushrooms. And it was really good. There's, that's crappy. Huh? That's crappy. Is that? There, yeah. She got her own hot dog now. I put a bunch over there for her, and she said, nope, she didn't want it. But she didn't want that type of accommodation. She wanted to cause a ruckus and uh, stand on the steps and be her normal self. And I said, okay, that's fine. Uh -uh. Remember now, behave down there. They ain't gonna behave. There you go, girl. Now watch when she leaves. She'll walk all. The, she'll take the driveway up and, and head then, over to Raymond. Head over to Raymond. Yeah. Oh. You okay. Yeah. Here. Say hello. You know who that is. That's the Lady Woody. There's Scooter. I think that's Scooter. Are you Scooter? No. You're not Scooter. He's got hot dogs in his water. Well, no. There's five, down there. There's five down there in the deck. And do you want to get that other tray of hot dogs that's in there on the table and give to him? So you got a fresh supply? You don't need to be bending like that. <clears throat> oh, me.
Come here. There you go. Says thank you. Hey, cut it out, you two. Get the other tray. Stop it. Here, here's a cookie. Here. Come on. There you go. You two are not going to fight. Okay? Stop it. Uh, be nice. I'm going to sit that there. Oh, she got power. Okay, let's see who comes and snatches something from my side here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look, they're all standing up down there. They've, they, Woody's taught them how to stand up. They, she said, now if you stand this way, yeah. it will start raining hot dogs. Well, everybody got a hot dog. Well, that's good. Bandit was out here earlier and had his supper. Was he? So he shouldn't be down there raising a ruckus like he did last night. <clears throat> hey, girl. How you doing? Is, what's his name? Is there, uh, Who? Buddy. Oh, okay. Yeah. wonder when she's going to bring her babies. No. Round no a week? Baby, no babies yet. Round a week? <clears throat> Some of the people on your fans page, some of their uh, raccoons are starting to bring their babies up well, to their... Well, that's because uh, they're down south. Yeah. They had a longer time. These fellows haven't had long enough time. Yeah. So, for those of you in the, uh, the States, we're getting pictures constantly in our messengers and through our phones. Um, we're seeing all the pictures of the smoke. Uh, we don't have it here. No, nope, we don't have it here. And a lot of it is not coming from the Nova Scotia fire. It's coming from the Quebec one. Yeah, it's not our. Ours is under control now. Uh, the one in Quebec <coughs> is the one that's flowing um, down into the northeast and then eventually down into Virginia and, and the south. Um, my daughter, who lives in New York City, sent me pictures today. Right. And New York City looks just orange. Oh, it, it's just, she says, Mom, it is horrible out there. And she says, you can smell the smoke in the lobby of the building that she worked in. Hello. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come here. Hello. There. Who's that little fella? Who do you think? Who's that little guy? Who do you think that is? That's Richard. Oh, is it? He's so tiny. He is tiny, isn't he? <coughs> tiny little thing. There you go, Richard. Where's Zorro? Y'all usually run together. He is tiny, isn't he? He's small. It's a good thing he came along when he did. You're only a little fella. You're Sammy. Huh? You're not that old. Uh -huh. No. Burby, you be nice. You're not that old. No, Say, you're no, not. No, I'm not. Say, I'm new. There you go, little dude. There you go. Yes. Remember, he was right up there when you saw him back at the end of January. Yeah. He was a lot smaller than that, too. You knew where to come, though. Yeah. Yep. Yes, he did. Hello. Come here, baby. <coughs> Don't take them long. And of course, our water is, is not clear, is it? No. That's because of all the rain. I put in our carry this morning, I put bottled water in there. Yeah. Yeah, because it's, uh, it'll, it clears up in about two days. Yeah. 
But just uh, it, it so much water came down that it affected the well. Yeah. Here you go, Furby. Here you go. Listen at that one. He's growling, that little one. Okay, Krabby, here you go. Hi, what you doing? Here, <coughs> Krabby. Be nice. She doesn't know how to be nice. <laughs> hey, Crabby. Be nice, girl. You there. be good. <laughs> I'll chase you down the stairs. Yeah, she said she's gonna be good. Look at Furby keeping guard. Yeah. Furby, what you watching for, honey girl? Well, she's not saying nothing about that one, Lon. I know. That one may be one of hers. Yeah. <laughs> Get well, over in the corner there. She's walking to the water. Huh? She wants some water. Yeah. The lights are going on and off on the, on the ground. Hello. Here you go. I hear somebody down there. Stop it, y'all. There we go. They hushed. Hi, Dad. Young little man. Uh-oh. Bouncing eraser. See, the hair is laid on them now. Yep. Yeah. They're starting to shed. Look at him looking at me. Here you go, baby. Richard. Here you go. And today is the, uh, the anniversary of my best friend that died two years ago, Ronnie Fultz. And I posted a picture on my Facebook, and so is, uh, the family has as well. And uh, I'll tell you, he, sur he, he surely missed here. We, it up, baby. Every week we got together and played music together. And, and uh, I only played the keyboard once, and that was for our, uh, our anniversary party, wasn't it? That's the only time I put my fingers on the keys. Here, Just don't have the... The want to anymore. No, couldn't care less. No. Don't. Richard. Got to chew it up. Hot dogs, 25 cents. Where's your 25 cents? You didn't give me nothing. Get down there fighting. I hear him. He let he, it rain hot dogs. And he's not going to let me go down the lock. Are you? I'm going to go behind you. Don't you go running. Hey, Richard. Hey, buddy. There. Oh, stop it. Oh, man. <clears throat> they all went running in the woods. Just one there now. Girl. He's wondering what I got in my hand. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, baby girl. Come on. That's a good girl. Okay, I'll back up. Come here, Furby.
that Sammy or is that Foxy? Up I wonder if the bishop got my mug. How long has it been? Because it usually takes two and a half weeks to get something in the States. Yeah. Hope he did. Thank you very much for the lovely cross you sent me. Yeah. He's good to me, that fella. Yes, he is. Yeah. He's a super nice guy. <clears throat> He's not like the bishop I knew here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very down to earth. Uh, Bishop Kolig is very down to earth. Well, have you ever told your fans why your bishop got upset with you? What you did to the bottle of wine? Oh, no, it wasn't the bishop. It was the priest? It was the priest that got upset yeah. with you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, the bishop didn't know who I was. You uh? No. What did you put in the wine bottle? I put vinegar in it. <laughs> Shame on you. Yeah, I got caught though, and I got in trouble. And you were how old? Oh, uh, probably 12 around there. <laughs> you didn't have to be very old. Uh, I had to take 10 weeks of training to be an alder boy. I had to, we had to do all the mass in Latin. Oh. Oh yeah, it wasn't done in English. I remember when I had to serve uh, the mass in uh, Regina. Yeah. They had they had switched to English then, and they asked who was ever altar boy. And I, of course, I raised my hand, and they said, "Can you do the mass this Sunday?" I said, "Well, I don't know it in English." <laughs> he said, "Well, just answer in Latin." He said, "Nobody's going to know the difference." So that's what I did. Okay. Yeah. They had to memorize the computer and all that stuff. Uh, everything had to be in Latin. We got a south wind. And then we had, uh, when the priest would say, Ite Misa S, that means go the masses in, and I was out the door like a shot. <laughs> <laughs> but we had one priest that uh, he used to sit at the back of the church and. Uh, he uh, he'd get after you. He'd say, uh, "You can't leave until the the priest has left the sanctuary." So he'd make you go back and sit down. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So um, before we you go in the house, I want to wish Darla yeah a happy birthday today. Is that the one that uh, uh, Micah? Micah's us a okay. About. Yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday, Darla. Look at this now. The you know, coast. We got, we got oh, look, look, look. Are you getting it? There you go. <laughs> she, and knows the, what, she knows what to but do. But there's hot dogs in the bottom of that I know, but water. she knows what to do. She, yeah. She thinks she's privileged. So yeah. She's my baby. <clears throat> I saw her first last year. She was sitting right over there on that little perch. Yeah. We got one eating out of the water here. Yep. Hello there. There, the lights are coming on. I, I should use one of my lights from downstairs and How plug it in. How do you have downstairs? It's for the, it's for, I bought them for the, uh, for the, uh, to play, you know, I had I two sets. Well, you got a hook over there. That you can hang it from to shine down there, and then you got an extra plug on that plug over there. Yeah, no, I was going to run. I was going to run the plug underneath and uh, mount it on the. I was going to mount but it. Can on, they get wet? Huh? Can they get wet? I don't know. I have That's to. That's why I was going to say put it across through there. Well, I was going to take it in. And put it on that. Hook. Take it in at night if it was raining. We'd forget. Yeah. Anyway. I got two of them. And they can change colors, but I mean, you can have it just praying white. Yeah. Yeah. What you doing there, baby girl? 
Eating cookies now? Yeah, and these fellows are going to be out. I'll be up here at 5 o'clock in the morning and they'll be there looking at me through the door. You had six this morning. Yeah. Hello. How are you? I had to put four pounds of hot dogs out. Hot day. There you go. You think you can go over there and get that? Nope, you don't have to get just a slither. There you go. They just is that the one wonderful that, animals? Is that the one that stole out of the... No, that's... She's right here. Oh. She's moved buckets. Oh. <clears throat> this is Furby. Yeah, and the, uh, the hair... The hair's coming off them. Yeah. Yeah. She's still tiny. Yeah. Well, she just turned a year old. Didn't you, little lady? Yes. So... This evening, we were watching, what was we watching? Something in Under the Sea? Oh, uh, uh, Around the World Under the Sea. Around 1966. 1966. And, and, and Lloyd Bridges was in it. Yeah. And, and uh, uh, a lady by the name, her last name was Eaton. She was in, she was in Goldfinger. Yeah. She was the girl that got painted all gold. Yeah, I remember that. And died. And, uh. So, in the middle of it, I was getting ready for these guys, yeah. and I came to the door, and Bandit was here. Yeah. And I opened the door, and he tried to come in the house. Oh, yeah, he come in. That scooter will come in. He he come in several times. He tried to come in. Yeah. If I'd left the door open, he'd walk right in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, scooter will. I had to put scooter out on him how many times. Goodness. He ran right in, and he went over to sniff Connor. He sniffed him. Yeah, Connor was laying down on the mat. And Connor never moved. Did he not? Nope. Well, I guess he was used to Gizmo, wasn't he? Or no. was he around Gizmo? Oh, yeah, he was around Gizmo, yeah. But he uh, he just smelled Connor, and then uh, he went over to start taking uh, the cat food out of the dish, knocked the water over everywhere. Of course. Yeah. We'll go in and say hello to the Oops. Kit Kats. Yeah. Uh, let me make sure nobody's at the door. There we go. Oh. Well, there's Charlotte. There's Charlotte, and aren't you? Yeah. And Connor's in the uh, in the haunted house. There's Connor. There's Charlotte. There's Connor Cat. He's sleeping. And I think uh, I think Sylvie's in the, in her house. I'll have a quick peek. <clears throat> so there's no drums in the down here. I gave them to the neighbor next door. Nobody wanted to buy them, so I'll give them away. We're going to take this screen door off. Now, she might be in her little house. I don't know if she is or not. Oh, it's, it's turned around, I can't see. No, she's not in there. Okay. This is what Angie does. She works. She works here. She's under the bed. Yeah, that's where she's at. She's under the bed. Oh, she wasn't in her little house. Anyway, we'll say good night then. This is uh, the raccoon that lights up. It's supposed to be for Christmas time, but I, I leave him there in the corner.
So anyway, people, good night, and uh, we shall see you again tomorrow night. Bye for now.